LeVar, can I switch gears with you? for? Because I have a question you here. You can switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> Let's stay oh, focused Lord. here. All right. So all the comments. That was a position of debate all week long. Was LeVar Ball wrong? Was he flirting? Should he apologize? Well, Molly Karam has spoken out and what she thinks in response to that and what ESPN did. And we're going to talk about it. But first, on this channel, we always put on our plus seven glasses of sexy as hell because we're working on helping you get that life gain. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Turn on those notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. And also let me know what your life gains are. So in response to what happened with LeVar Ball, here's what Molly Karam had to say. I haven't heard from anybody, but to be honest with you, I shut my phone off after work, yeah. so I was just in I was just in chill mode. Okay, uh, can I just ask how Jalen is handled the situation? I think Jalen would have just liked if he had apologized to me publicly. Okay. ESPN obviously had your back. They said he was completely appropriate and let him be aware of that. Um, do you think that they should do anything further at this point, or are you satisfied with the outcome? No, I'm satisfied. Yeah, 100%. ESPN was really supportive, and I appreciate it. All the executives had my back. When this drop, a person that I really, really love from ESPN supported Molly Karam and everything that happened. Take a look at what Jamel Hill had to say and what the people following her on social media had to say. Here's the life game response, people. Now, I asked several professional women that were above the age of 35 because the person that felt offended in the situation was a woman. I don't know how old Molly is, but she's a woman. So I asked my wife, who was a doctor, and she's 35 plus. I asked clients I work with who work in the professional field, banking, um, personal training, in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. And they all said they didn't see anything wrong with what he said. A lot of us have been complaining that ESPN is getting too PC. One of the reasons that they fired my homegirl, Jamel Hill, shouts out to Detroit. She's from there. My wife is from there. Was because they felt like she was getting too involved politically. Now, I think, if anything, the person that made this situation uncomfortable was Molly. A lot of us hate LeVar Ball because he sounds like Donald Trump. He makes these outlandish comments like Donald Trump. He's a shock job. However, in that situation, she said, I want to switch gears with you. And so you want to put yourself in a position, what if he would have said that to your mom, your aunt, or your grandma? Well, I think that if he would have said that to my grandma, if my grandma was interviewing him, she said, LeVar, I want to switch gears with you. And he would have said, I'll switch gears with you anytime. You can take that as a sign of respect and not necessarily flirting. Because I've said this to old people and I'm saying it out of respect because I respect them so much that whatever they need, I'm willing to fulfill to help. Because I respect them. So it could have been a sign of respect. I think that Molly's response is what caused the situation to be awkward as F, as you young people would put it. But it's, I want to know, what are your life gains? I think this one was a big nothing. I think LeVar Ball just had the build up. And I think if Molly would not have responded the way she did, and take a look at it again. LeVar, can I switch gears with you? for? Because I have a question you here. You can switch gears with me anytime. <laughs> Let's stay oh, focused Lord. here. All right. Uh, it wouldn't have been anything. But you guys leave me comments. What do you think? Do you think that we're just going crazy over LeVar Ball because we've already got this backstory with him? Or was Molly really and truly justified? And you've seen what ESPN did. And the thing is, are we going to keep putting him on TV? Because if you do, everything this man does is going to be scrutinized. So leave me your life gain comments. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life gain. Until the next sex is hell video, 
I'll see you. <laughs>